Hi guys, my name is Mead. This is going to be a Figma review. It feels like it's been a while since I've had a Figma review. <laughs> well, I got Mutsu. Uh, she's from the Kantai collection or Kankoli uh, series. And I'm really happy for her. <laughs> she's the sister uh, ship to the Gato. Really cool. So, look at the box art here. Oh, she comes with a chain. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, really nice. And that's pretty much it for the box. Let's take a look inside. Alright, we got Musu here. She looks adorable. And I kind of looked it up online, a few things about her. Apparently her uh, historical ship had an internal fire on the third uh, turret. And that caused her to sink. Unfortunately, not in a glory of battle. So she's afraid of the fire. And also, I think they made a, they poke fun of the antenna on her head that look, she looks like a slug. <laughs> Interesting. So, uh, nicely painted, as expected of uh, Max Factory and Good Small Company. Really nice. And a few things I've noticed are uh, different from the other uh, Kaikali Figma so far is her basically the ship that attaches to her it's seems like the it connects to her waist now and this is all molded together I don't think you can separate this piece I kind of wish you can sometimes you just want to display her without the battleship so unfortunately for her it's all mounted together hmm, interestingly enough right so uh, let's start putting uh, the armor so this is basically the back side and I believe it just pegs in place and this is my first time putting this on so bear with me <laughs> gotta keep going yeah I'm not sure how we yeah there we go then we get the Figma stand connection there. Kind of makes you think that you can actually move this, but it's all molded together. <laughs> so that's that part. Now we're putting on the the sides of the ship. Actually, let's take a look at it first. And I believe this is almost the same as uh, Nagato's. Ship of the turret here, individually also. So this one, and I believe you can also rotate this way. Nice. Actually, before we get there, it probably good to do a little bit of articulation, but it's the same for all Figmas. I'm going to do it anyways. So you get the head articulation here. Nothing is uh, hindering her neck movement since uh, she has short hair and none of that crazy anchors. <laughs> And you got the shoulder here, then you have the elbow. I really like that the elbow now. It's a lot more fuller than the older style. Yep. And you get the wrist. And you get the mid torso here. And that's basically her articulation as opposed to the waist. Then you get the legs here. It's a little bit uh, hindered. Yeah, because of this. <laughs> then you have the knee. There's actually another uh, part uh, which I will attach later on. Uh, there's a separate uh, leg for the anchor. Then you have the heels or ankle here. And yeah, you can move that head to side. That's it. I don't. I don't think you can move the rudder. Or I don't think any of them does that. Alright, so uh, let's put this on. So this is for this side here, and the other one is for the anchor. So let's put this one first, and kind of just wiggle it slowly in there. There we go. So f for the most part, it does give you almost the same articulation as 
the other type where the hinge instead of the side of his waist on the back uh, not sure how I feel about this <laughs> feels like they're, they're trying to cut back on plastic but then again it's a different design maybe there is a reason why they did this who knows yeah I'm not too keen about this design <laughs> feels like it's uh it's getting it's a little crowded anyways uh, moving on you get the other side same articulation and let's put this on here there we go all right um let's use the figma stand so this comes with this your typical figma stand and i always rotate this upside down there we go and mount it underneath Although, not, might have to remove it again once we get to the anchor part. But uh, putting this on is another story. Alright, uh, let's see if I can put it on there. Oh! It's not letting me. Come on! Alright. Be careful though when you put the, this on. If you can separate the piece, probably better because holding it from here is probably gonna stress or crack that clear plastic and there you have it uh, let me just realign this there we go all right a quick comparison with the gato um there's a few differences here and there but uh, their ship is almost the same Although, I think Nagato has this, uh, that might be anti-air. Yeah. Yeah, interesting uh, design. And again, you don't have uh, this part here. You kind of remove that. I'm not sure if they're going to continue with that design. I'm hoping they don't. <laughs> I like this more. Since you can uh, just remove all of this all together. And you don't have that uh, hinge or the connection on the side part there and if they choose to do this I'm kind of hoping they added like a separate uh, cap just to hide that uh, the ports there but yeah um, they look great next to each other <laughs> alright so uh, let's move on uh, there's a couple of things uh, for Mutsu and uh, as expected you're gonna have a variety of hands so on the hand rack here, you have closed fist for holding a weapon or something, maybe not a weapon. <laughs> uh, you have a hand gesture. Uh, this could be a salute or some, yeah, it's probably a salute, then you just have a relaxed hands. So quite nice, a variety. And there is an extra one, which I actually like, is this one here. And I believe the, as we've seen in the box, it accompanies, well, you get two more other uh, facial. So we get this happy face and this one where she's winking. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I kind of like this one. I mean, she's cute on this one too, but uh, I think this wins it. <laughs> All right, to do so, let me try this. I believe um, her front part pops off take up this part here pop that back in and there we go all right and I'll swap this out there we go and also you're gonna have a spare of this wrist joint of it's basic standard all thing must now. Oh, I really like that pose. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's about it um, in terms of... Well, actually, almost forgot. <laughs> we got a couple more things to go over. Alright, so uh, this one is interesting have an, an actual anchor here. 
you get the chain um, you got this simple design on the anchor and a mounting point so on this one from what I can see hmm okay such a pega right there but before we uh, do this one I'm gonna go ahead and swap her leg this one has a peg and I'll probably keep in that uh, post and my first time removing a knee joint not sure how well this is gonna turn out and that's not the poor part I want to break off now they're one of those weird videos where I'm dismantling a figure. Yeah, this this might take a while. So let me uh, just do this off camera. All right, after much struggling, <laughs> it turns out when I was putting the knee peg uh, or knee joint back on, I had it upside down. So if it doesn't work one way, you gotta flip that joint. And there you go. Uh, it's a lot easier to disconnect it from the top. I kind of wish to just give you another joint for that. Uh, just in case you break it too. Yeah, so. There we go. Managed to do that. Um, putting this on. Actually, I just found out that... Let's see if I can get this out of the way. And you can actually remove this little tab here. This little... Uh, look like a bolt. You can remove this and mount the anchor there and I just swap it but I'm just gonna leave this here and there we go all right so uh, I'm gonna put this on here that's the problem when you don't have anything on it yeah, I had a problem with that peg also here um, I had to use a like a screwdriver I got a little set here <laughs> so I had to use this kind of just uh, widen the joint or the peg hole and this little guy so it's nifty to have uh, certain tools yeah. anyways just a little about that so this one we can have her hold this if you want, if you want to uh, maybe best with the other one, but that works too, right? Otherwise, uh, we will wrap it around on the back side here. And, you know, we wrap it around here like this. But something tells me probably better to wrap it here. And go like this. I'll put this back on. There we go. And try to see how they did this. Some weird configuration. Huh. <laughs> It'll go this way. There we go. Yeah, I don't like that. The way they did it on the... There we go. Alright, that's what I'm lo uh, going for. That works. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that pretty much wraps up the review for Figma Mutsu. I highly recommend getting her, especially if you're a big fan of the anime Kankoli or the game, or you just like girls with battleship on them. <laughs> uh, between these two, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, in terms of the battleship configuration, I like Nagados a lot more, definitely. Uh, but for the girl, I kind of like Mutsu a lot more now. Um, I think it's just the way uh, her hair is cut, and you got that anchor and chain, and and also that uh, hand gesture and that wink. <laughs> I kind of like that a lot more. The Nagato, but definitely I like them both all together. And I think, yeah, that, that's about it for the review. Um, other than that, you know, I'm very tempted to get Figma Amy 
I don't know for those who are familiar, Figma Amy is from the anime uh, Gargantia on the Verdurous Planet. And she has this cool uh, pet squirrel, which is kind of like an inside joke of when you have this to Nagato and Mutsu. Really tempted. We'll see. Maybe I'll get her in the near future. <laughs> Alright, that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.